It is that time of year again. That's right. It's time for the annual, as of last year, imminent Christmas tradition of opening up an anime Blu-ray mystery box. Or package, I guess, as uh, with the left one is. So, yes, today, if you haven't seen last year's, uh, I tend to, every year, to treat myself to a present at Christmas. I buy anime mystery boxes from all the anime and MVM, uh, or Sentai Filmworks as they're known in the US, was MVM over here, as I learned recently. So, both of these websites had two different mystery anime bundles. MVM had uh, anime Blu-ray bundle 1 and 2. They also had DVD bundles, but I didn't go for those. Maybe I should have, I don't know. So this is bundle number 2. Uh, bundle number 1 is obviously different. I don't know what's going to be in that one. I think they both maybe share a theme, I think, and it's a slightly different theme, I don't know. And then, all of the anime, uh, this is the Anime Collector's Edition Blu-ray Mystery Box. So all of them are Collector's Edition versions of this anime Blu-ray. Well, there's five of them in each, I think. Uh, and the options this year were red and green, I want to say, and I went for green. So that's two and green. So let me know in the comments, maybe you bought the red box or the one box package thing. Uh, you know, it, it'll be it'll be interesting to see. But anyway, I've, I've rambled enough now. Um, we're going to start this year with MVM. So I want to say last year we went for all the anime. Now, MVM, or the website is anime... Online anime on dash line, I think. Uh, if you're in the UK, you probably come across MVM. They're a bit of an older um, publisher, but they tend to publish more interesting series. Not that all the anime doesn't have interesting series, but you get me. Anyway, I'm gonna move that further to the back. Also, the the question marks didn't come on them. I I, I drew them because I'm artistic with that. I said artistic. Right, I'm going to grab the first one, we'll take a look, then I'll kind of read on the back to see. Okay, right, so, uh, I, I have this on Blu-ray. <laughs> this is the danger of lucky, uh, lucky bags or mystery bags. You will sometimes find stuff. Um, I can tell you quite a bit about this because I actually watched Love and I watched Love and Live. Love, Love and Live? Love, Lie, Love and Lies. Good Lord, why did that take me three attempts? Uh, I watched that a few months ago, actually. Um, as the back states, basically the setup is that um, when everyone turns, I think it's like 16 or something, um, everyone's given a state-mandated girlfriend or boyfriend, uh, you know, sort of calculated by an algorithm, and he is in love with her, but he is assigned her, and that's his friend who's not involved with either of them, but, you know, it's... Uh, it's kind of a bit of a love triangle kind of thing going on, and you know, it's um, it's a romance anime. I'm not super, super into our romance animes, it's not my go-to, but I kind of enjoyed this. I actually have the Blu-ray upstairs, so um, yeah, I mean, if you like, you know, romance anime, give it a, give it a watch. Put that to the side, I've already seen that. Next up, ooh, okay, it's not something I've ever seen. It's Sasami-san at Kanbaranai. Yeah, huh. I don't think I've ever heard of this. I'm going to take a quick look on the back and I'll be obby. Alright, so I've had a read of the blurb. It seems to be an anime about a hikikimori, um, who is sort of a, a, a neat, someone who stays in all the time, um, and her interactions with the world, I guess, through her screen, and maybe, I'm presuming the kind of plot is that she learns to appreciate the real world. But yeah, that sounds really interesting. Definitely, definitely quite excited to watch that. Next up, ooh, this is a heavy one. Ooh, Excel World. Now I've heard of this, but I don't know much about it. There's a there's a cute lolly and a and a mech man. This is this is hefty as well. Um, right, I'll take a look at this and be obby. Man, this sounds really interesting actually. Um, as I said, I've heard the name of the series before, but I've never seen anything. It's um. The blurb is a little bit vague. It's about, I presume, her or maybe the other girl meeting her uh, about reviving a past that she thought was long dead. Um, but it doesn't really say much about the series. I'm guessing it's a kind of action 
slight, you know, school-based, a bit like Madoka Magica, maybe not as dark, but I don't know, maybe as dark. The reason it's heavy as well is 24 episodes. I forgot to mention that this one is 12 episodes, so... So far, that is a hell of a stack. Uh, two out of three are really good, and to be fair, Love and Lies is, is actually quite a good series, so... Even though I've got a double, I, I'm not unhappy. We have Photo Cano. Photo Cano. Okay. She looks a little bit like the main character from Back One, which is the uh, motorcycle club anime. Um, yeah, I've never heard of Photo Cano. Right, I'll go off and read this one. All right, so this one is about a school photography club. Uh, and presumably it's about a guy, uh, Kazu K Kazuki, I think his name is. And presumably he joins the photography club and meets lots of cute girls and there's romance involved probably, but that's pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever watched anything about photography. Actually, no, I say a lie, I did watch Nightcrawler, the movie. Um, I'm guessing it's slightly different in tone to that. Though. Man, our last anime. Ooh, Grimoire of Zero. That's another series I've heard the name, but I don't know anything of. I'm liking the art style, it's um, giving me a bit of fate vibes, kind of. Right, I'll read the back of this one. Beauty, beast, blood contract, and a book. This this is actually kind of interesting. It's, um, it's about half-tigers, known as mercenaries, in a war against witches, I want to say. Twelve episodes, two discs. Yeah, this is very interesting. It's another series, I've, I've heard the name... But, you know, I couldn't tell you anything about that. Hmm, that's very interesting. So, lay them all out, and we'll take a look uh, one last time at the MVM mystery bundle. This is, honestly, quite a darn good selection. Uh, it's got kind of... The, I don't know if they are themed. Maybe it's just all the anime that's themed, but the kind of theme I'm getting here is, like, high school romance and fighting, uh, be it literal fighting or, you know, kind of emotional stuff. But, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to all of these, apart from Love and Lives, obviously, because I've already seen it. But still, four out of five, this happens every year. The downside is, I do tend to buy things on, like, the summer sales from MVM and stuff, so there's always going to be a chance I'm going to end up buying stuff that I've bought on sale already. But hey, I can, you know, easily give this to a friend. All right, well, that was a very solid one. That is, like... Uh, 50 or 60 episodes of anime there, so uh, definitely not arguing for... I want to say this was £35, maybe it was 40 I can't remember. Anyway, let's move over to all the anime, which are slightly more expensive, but they are collector's editions. Alright, this box arrived a little bit worse for wear. It was a little bit beaten up, but uh, hey, that's how it goes. At least we've got loads of this very nice packaging. So. Before we get into the bundle, I did actually buy a Blu-ray on its own as well, because it was... Ooh, uh, that's the receipt, probably not going to show you guys that. So, there was also a seal on... Uh, actually, I'm going I'm to unwrap this off camera. Hey, there we are. So, yeah, there was a seal alongside all the mystery boxes. There was, like, buy one, get one free. Um, I think they were, like, you could get uh, upcoming things for early bird prices, they do like early bird offers on all the anime, and on the sale I saw there was a series for 2 99 so I thought I'd bite the bullet, and I bought Peacemaker, uh, which is, I don't know, it's, um, it, it, it looks kind of cool, it's, I don't know, but for 2 99 I always quite like just finding a series I've never heard of, I know nothing about, and, you know, just diving into it. Because even if it does end up bad, I'm happy to give it a charity or whatever. But this is a... is this a DVD? I think it might be a DVD, actually. Not a Blu-ray. Well, I am an idiot there. I should have... Maybe they didn't have it on Blu-ray, I don't know. But still, 2 you can't really argue. It is the complete series. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this before. I, I've never heard of it. Part of me is thinking, ooh, maybe that means it's not that great, but eh, I'll give it a chance. All right, time to lift out the brick of surprise. Ooh, good Lord. Wow, that is big. Okay, uh, let me see. Does it say what it is on the front? Hey, as I mentioned, it is the 2023 green Blu-ray mystery box. As I said, I think it was red was the other one. And you've got to slice this open off camera again because it's probably going to make a horrible noise. 
All right, I can't really read what any of these say, thankfully. I don't know, maybe you can see on camera, but I'm going to put it in the back. I'm going to go through each one individually. Hello world. Ooh. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a hell of a cover. That's really cool. It was a 12. Right, I'm going to go read the back of this. All right, so this is really interesting. It's an anime film set in 2027 in Kyoto, where there are... Uh, there's large technological advancement, and she meets a guy, presumably him, who claims to be from the future. Uh, for those of you interested, the animators are Grafinica, uh, and it's directed by Tomohiko Ito. I don't recognise either of those names, but it strikes me as something that, like, I may have seen something by them before. Uh, the extras on this as well is, I want to say, the six art cards, a booklet, and a fold-out poster. As well, but I'm really digging the front there. Hopefully, the film is just as beautiful uh, as the art. I'm, I'm sure it is. It's uh, 96 minutes, for those of you interested. Next up, we have Summer Ghost. Ooh. Ooh. Man, another, like, uh, really nice-looking cover there. Right, I'm going to go read the back. So, this is quite an interesting one. It's about a group of kids that light fireworks to try to summon a ghost of a woman, apparently. Um, the studio is Flat Studio, I've never heard of them, and the director is Yon Draw. so I don't know. Now, the interesting thing is here, so the bonus things are a 32-page uh, booklet, A3 poster, and four art cards. The interesting thing is, this movie is 45 minutes. That's like the shortest anime movie I've heard of, uh, I think. Anyway, there isn't actually just an OVA or something. But yeah, like, visually, it looks really interesting. I'm guessing maybe it's sort of a more indie developed thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to give that a try. So, next up on the left, we've got the... Oh, the Deer King! Ah, I thought I said the Door King for a second. I was like, that's weird. There's an anime uh, movie I've heard of called The Deer King. Oh, okay. This is very interesting. So I've heard the name, but I've never seen the movie. I'm going to read the back quickly. All right, so this... Um, I want to say this is advertised a few years ago online. It might have been all the anime that was advertising it. I think it had, like, a cinema release and everything. And I see why. So this is the, um, the producer uh, of um, Spirited Away and Your Name. Or produce... Oh, sorry, uh, director, not producer, sorry. Um, actually, yeah, because your name uh, was Makoto Shinkai. But yeah, so this, this so this is actually quite interesting as well. So the studio is Production IG. They are very famous. You've probably heard of them before. Uh, Masa, Masa, Masashi Ando, sorry, and Masayuki uh, Miyagi. I've not heard of the names, but, like, he's obviously the director of those things. The bonuses are actually quite interesting. So you've got the, um, you know, 16-page booklet. You've got two Japanese replica posters. So I'm guessing they're the posters of the film when it was released in Japan. And then you've got Certificate of Authenticity. That is, uh, yeah, that, that's quite interesting. And then you've got other extras and stuff. It is 114 minutes. Yeah, so the, I, I've heard of this. I mean, I'm glad I've got the collector's edition. Um, yeah, I, wonder, uh, I, I swear this is like three or four years ago or whatever. Right, ooh, we've got got a very big one next. Is this a series? They tend to do like four movies in a series usually. Uh, this is The Heroic Legend of Aslan. Oh, okay. Now I've heard of this. Heroic Legend of Arslan. I'm going to read the back. I'll be RB. All right. So, this is all of season one of the Heroic Legend of Arslan. Uh, and it comes with a visual guide as well. So, it's part one and part two of season one. I was very confused because the blurb there, kind of, the start of it mentions part one. And I was like, oh dear. Well, am I going to have to buy part two? But no. Uh, this is, so, this is quite a... A, f a famous series, I want to say. Um, and it, these are all the bonuses that come on the discs. There are 25 episodes, I want to say. Now, the reason I recognise it, so I've gone and grabbed them, by sheer coincidence, about a year ago, in a charity shop, 
I found season one of the Heroic Legend of Arslan by all the anime. So this is like the previous. Well, I think it's by all the anime anyway. Uh, maybe it's not actually. But yeah, this was like a previous release. So this is a special edition as well that comes with different things. One of them comes with a board game. I want to say. Ah, there we are. Yeah, I think so. That's like a board game and art cards and stuff. But yeah, I, I bought these. They were like eight pounds each. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. So I now own two special editions of the Heroic Legend of Arslan. I have yet to watch the series, but that's cool. I'll, um, I may keep them both because they are two different editions of, because this is part one, season one, part one, and season one, part two. So I think it's the same amount of episodes, but yeah, that is a weird coincidence, but I ain't complaining. And, oh, oh man, this is, this feels like a hefty one as well, actually. Is this a series, I wonder? We have the Irresponsible Captain Tyler. Okay, I have never, this looks really interesting, though. I've never heard of it. It looks like an 80s kind of space anime. Um, yeah. Okay, um, I'll, I'm going to check out the back and I'll be right back. Man, this sounds right up my alley. So it is a 26 episode series. Uh, it's about an irresponsible young man named Tyler. Ty Tyler? Tyler? I don't know. Who is put uh, in charge of the space, bat space battleship. And it looks 80s as hell. Uh, I'm presuming because it came out in the 80s. Or maybe early 90s. But I... That is my jam, man. That's, that's what I kind of love. There's... Something really unique about this era of, like, sci-fi anime. They all have clear influence from, like, Gundam and Me uh, Macross and stuff. But, I don't know, they're, they're all very, very interesting. That That is amazing. I did not expect to have, like, a classic series like this. Um, so, sorry about that. Uh, I don't recognise any of these names. But the bonus does come with a 100-page art book. That is wild. I mean, you know, you've you've seen the other things like tw a thirty-six page art book is considered like, oh wow, that's that's quite get yeah, hundred pages. That is that is cool. But yeah, man, this this is probably the biggest surprise of all of them. Not that any of them weren't a surprise, but I've never heard of this. But suddenly, I am very very interested in watching it. It sounds a little bit like a very early version of Space Dandy, if that makes sense. But yeah. Uh, as with the other bundle, I'm now going to go lay them out, and we'll take a look uh, at the end. Alright, so that is quite the variety. Again, I don't know if they've themed this. I'm not really seeing much of a cohesion of themes here. It's sort of maybe visually impressive, or sort of epics or something. I don't know, but uh, I'm very impressed. So first off, um, you know, really good points for I didn't get any doubles. Which is always a good thing. I think if you watched the one last year I did, I want to say I got like two different doubles or something, which is a bit awkward. But these all sound really interesting. Um, the last three for sure are things, um, well, the Deer King I've wanted to see for a while. Same as that because I have it on Blu-ray. I didn't know that existed, but I'm now very excited. And these two strike me as they're going to be very visually stunning uh, movies and stuff that I've never heard of. So... That's what I love about these mystery boxes, is that you'll come across movies and series you've just never heard of, but, you know, that that's what I like about anime. It's so varied. There's a decent chance I'm going to probably love at least half of them and like the rest at the very least. I, I've yet to have anything from a mystery box where I'm like, oh, that was terrible. I regret watching that, you know? Right, well, that about wraps up this final episode of Imminent Christmas. I hope everyone's had a lovely Christmas. I hope you had lots of very cool gifts or mystery boxes yourself or whatever. I will be seeing you guys in a few days for the Talk Toys 2023 wrap-up, so stay tuned for that if you want, if that's going to be your thing. If not, fair enough. Uh, I will be doing stuff in 2024 as well, of course. Probably statues, trading cards, maybe more anime stuff. Who knows? I may even branch out. I'm going to try maybe stream more, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'll let you get on. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!